Welcome to Memorizing Chemistry. I want to talk about centimeters squared to millimeters squared and centimeters cubed to millimeters cubed. It causes some confusion and I want to explain why that is. So millimeters and centimeters have nothing to do with each other in terms of the naming. It's 10 millimeters equals one centimeter and we know it because we've used a ruler that has a little centimeters and we've had 10 gradations so it goes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 on the old wooden ruler or the new plastic ruler whatever it is a millimeter is one thousandth of a meter a centimeter is one hundredth of a meter both of their relationships are to the meter not to each other so they're 100 cents in a dollar that's how you remember the centimeter so because millimeter and centimeter, the names have no relationship to each other, it sometimes is confusing. But the better way to do it is to think, okay, 10 millimeters equals one centimeter, like he told me about the ruler. Okay. Now, in terms of making the conversions, 10 centimeters to millimeters, and then we'll do 10 centimeters squared to millimeter squared, then we'll do 10 centimeters cubed to millimeters cubed. If you have 10 centimeters, and you know that one centimeter is 10 millimeters, then the one goes on the bottom, 10 goes on the top, 10 times 10 makes 100 millimeters. It's really 100 millimeters to the first power. To the first power means that it will be itself, so 100 becomes 100. The reason that's gonna be important is we're going to go and square them and then cube them in just a second. So 100 centimeters squared we don't do millimeters squared as we're doing a conversion. Rather, we do one centimeter per 10 millimeters, one centimeter per 10 millimeters, and we get 1,000 millimeters squared. To do cubed, we do the same thing. We just add another one centimeter per 10 millimeters, and it's 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, which makes 10,000 millimeters cubed. So again, the relationship between centimeters and millimeters is that millimeters is 1,000 meters and centimeters is 100th, or there's 1,000 millimeters in a meter and 100 centimeters in a meter. So don't try to compare them that way. You just need to know 10 millimeters in one centimeter. Then when you're going to squared, you're creating the area, like the area of a box. And then when you're doing cubed you're doing the area of something like a cube quite literally so when somebody says cc's they're really talking about centimeters cubed and that's a unit of measure that we'll work on in another problem but one milliliter equals one cc so we'll get into that in a different problem